Hello everybody and welcome to my 24 VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use a nested for loop to go through a multi-dimensional array. So let's get started, let's just make ourselves a sub, so you call it whatever you like and then we're going to declare ourselves just a two-dimensional array called my array and we'll make it 10 elements by 10 elements, so going up to index 9 and we'll just put that as a string and then we're going to want to start to use our nested for loops now to populate that array with information so let's put 4 and then we want to use uh, variable x equals and then I'm going to set it to L bound which is a function that's going to work out the lowest index in this array and then we need to pass it because it's a multi-dimensional array we need to give this a parameter that lets it know which dimension we want to use so I want to use this dimension so I just put a 1 in like that and then 2 and then U bound for upper bounds and make sure you put in my array and then you bound my array and then one again and so what this is going to do is it's just going to go for all of the all of the first dimensions in this array it's going to loop through all of them so then down here let's go next x and then Similarly, I'm actually going to change this just so to make it really clear. So it's going to have nine essentially going down, and then well, ten elements going down, and then six elements going across. And we, so let's do the across one. So four y equals, and then l bound my array, and then this time we want to be using the second dimension. So we put two, and then two upper bound my array comma 2 and then next y and then we just need to pop populate this so let's just put my array x comma y because they're still going to be variables for us so all we're doing is setting it to the lowest bound and then it's still going to increment it each time so we've still got those counters available to use in x and y and then if we press equals and then I'm going to set it just to equals to a string so I am at index x equals and then ampersand x and then comma y equals and then the value of y and then we want to then you do something with this so let's just write this out onto our screen so easiest way is just going to be to copy your for loop because we we still we still want to loop through all of the things so let's just copy it and then delete this section of code and we want to put in say this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and then we want to use x as our as our row reference but we want to put plus one because our variable is going to start at zero and so it will error because it will try and put it into row zero which doesn't exist and then again just y plus one dot value equals and then my array and then x comma y okay so let's press play and see if this has worked and then alt tab into here and then if we look at this, so I am at index x equals 0, y equals 0, I'm at x index x equals 0, y equals 1, and so on. And it goes all the way through until it gets to the end. So just to recap, we've created a two-dimensional array. 
We've then used a for loop to go through it, and then another for loop to print it out on the screen, and with the nested for loops to go through the whys. If you had a three dimensional array, and I'm not actually going to do an example because I think you'll probably be able to get the idea from this, but you just use another nested for loop and say put it as for z equals lower bound 3 to upper bound 3. You get the idea and you can go to as many dimensions as you need to with your nested for loops. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we're going to come off of for loops now. I'm sure we've all had enough of them uh, and we're going to go into a different type of looping which can be a lot more powerful in some scenarios uh, and not as powerful in some. So you need to know both both of the types. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.